idea. I really did have no idea that I was that cavalier about scripture. I heard the gospel first in 1970 when I was 16 until the last five or six years when I was first exposed to the doctrines of grace. My understand I, I believe the Bible, I, I love the Bible, but there is a lot of stuff that just didn't make a lot of sense. One of the things is I, I wanted to sort of look more closely at how I viewed the scripture before I encountered this this doctrine of inerrancy of the scripture and you know I, I'm I'm embracing the scripture but I don't want to look too closely the people that I knew in church thought the same thing this is this is um, kind of normal is that we read the Bible, we study it, we don't understand it, and because we don't understand it, we're going to not look too closely at it. But then you're confronted with the, the, the doctrine of the inerrancy of Scripture, not to mention the authority and the, and the inspiration and the sufficiency, but the, the inerrancy, it's perfect. And that's really um, probably the biggest, the biggest breakthrough I made during that was being confronted with that and having to say, hey, what do I do with this? Because it's, uh, you know, looking at the Bible as I did before, it just appeared there are too many things that didn't make sense, that, that were contradictory, that, that were chaotic and just unclear, that I didn't want to look too closely. And I think the, the thing that prepared me for that was, was being exposed to the doctrines of grace and being changed by the revelation that he chose me. I didn't choose him, which I had thought for decades. One of the implications of this, as, as I grappled with the, the fact that the Bible is inerrant, that it's perfect, is that all of a sudden it changes my orientation in my relationship to the Bible. No longer am I looking down and evaluating it and saying, well, I'm going to try to understand this, I'm going to sort this out, and I'll just leave, set this aside. Um, it's just the opposite. It's that the Bible is above me, instructing me, and that I'm subject to the Bible. And, and if I don't understand something, it's not a, a fault or an or a, or a inadequacy of the Bible. It's an inadequacy of me. And the biggest effect of this, I think, is I can relax. I just don't have to work so hard that I'm not the guy that's going to make sense of all this that has to work very hard to put all these pieces together that are really hard to put together, that if God is sovereign and God created this revelation for us that is perfect, I can relax. He's going to reveal it to me in His time and in His way. It not, doesn't mean that I don't have to work and pay attention. It makes me love it. It makes me love it because I, I, I'm not fighting it. I'm not having to make allowances for it. I'm not having to forgive all these things that I don't understand. It's, it's incredibly liberating and, and then with that liberation this comes this, this joy and freedom of this wonderful perfect revelation that we have is, is a gift. If the scripture is inerrant sufficient for my entire life, there's a lot of implications. I've then got to re-examine things that I've believed, that I've learned, that I've embraced my entire life. And I'm not a young guy. I've, I've, I've learned a lot of stuff over the years and so there's a lot of stuff I have to sort through. The education that I have, the, the, the things that I've learned in, in college and graduate school, the, the, the principles that I've come to believe through my career um, that may or may not be right, but now they have to be cast through the filter of the Scripture. How do I spend my time? How do I, how do I 
as an athlete? How do I view being an athlete through the, the eyes of the scripture? I mean, everything, everything. I, obviously, as a father and a husband and a grandfather and a son, you know, it just it, it provides an unending challenge now that I see that the scripture has an answer for everything. Then I then I, it's an unending challenge because every aspect of my life now I get to re-examine and and sort of straighten out and get in alignment with with what the revelation of God says. I think of this this kind of journey that I've been on from one place to the other, and God's word has gone from being a a nice piece of advice and and counsel to being everything to being the biggest relief and the rock and the foundation of my life and my future as i went down in the river to pray studying about that good old way and who shall the starry crown, good Lord, show me the 